Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new video on Pokemon Planet. Today's video, we're going for the third gym badge in the region of the Hoenn region, and that is the Electric Gym, and this is probably going to be a really, really tough gym. Um, but, let me open the map really quick and show you where we are. We are currently in Slateport. In the last video, we defeated the gym for, like, Do for Town, which was the fighting type gym. It was super easy, and we just did it no problem at all. Uh, we didn't have to go through route, these route at all because there was actually a ferry there. We ferried to Slateport City, and we now have a new area unlocked. The next gym is in Mauville Town, so we have to go through Route 110 to get there. Shouldn't take too long, um, but let's just go ahead and go. We currently have uh, 17 uh, Max Repels left, and I have a plan for this gym. Um, we got to teach a new move to Gyarados, so... Make sure you have your money saved up for this plan. It's not actually that expensive. Just a few hundred, like maybe 200,000 um, dollars in the game, which really isn't that much at all. But it's worth teaching Gyarados this move. Once we get there, we'll figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and stack up another repel. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll just keep track of my repels. Hopefully we don't have to battle anybody here. There's someone named Jasmine. Um, there's a dude named Jeremy up here. This is Jeremy Wade from Fishing. What's that Fishing TV show? Um, yeah, the catches. Monster River Monsters. Yeah, I love that show. All right, so, um, yeah, we made it. All right, we are now in Mauville City. It is literally just right up here. That was, like, one of the shortest routes of all time, but Slateport literally has nothing in it at all. It's just, uh, like, a, like a weird place. We got some dude named William over here. Let's talk to him. William, this city sure has come a long way since I was young. Shut up, William. Literally, no one cares about you. Literally, not a single person cares. Some dude named Ricky over there. We can't even talk to him. He's like, yeah, hiding or something. We need to find the Pokemon Center really quick. This looks like a building, but this is the entire town, which is weird. There's a bike clerk there. A bike clerk. Um, yeah, you can't talk to anybody. Alejandro. I want to talk to Alejandro. Okay. Uh, first things first, make sure you go to the Pokemon Center so that way you don't get teleported back to the previous area. Um, and this is it. This is the gym. You can enter the gym from the bottom or the top. I mean, yeah, you, know, you can enter it from anyway. Okay, actually, okay, I was gonna say what? Okay, looks like you can enter from all four sides, and the gym is in the middle here. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. It's been a while since I've been here. It looks like we actually have to fight everybody, so let's go back to the Pokemon Center or the Pokemon Pokemart really quick, and then I'll show you guys exactly what my plan is to defeat this gym. And basically, let's teach Gyarados a new move. Um, yeah, here is the Pokemon Mart. So um, basically, we need to buy a TM. We go in here and we search earth you guys probably already know what i'm talking about okay we're just about the cheapest one whatever it is whatever price it is 279 that's not bad we have 300k right now um yeah so let's go ahead and buy earthquake really quick all right so there's other shit, another thing you can do if you can't afford earthquake um something that works just as good sometimes is um bulldoze and how much is that tm let's search that one up all right bulldoze is only 2k dude that's super easy to get and a pretty powerful ground type move for Gyarados to have the knockout electric pokemons but earthquake is extremely powerful it does a hundred damage base damage so it's a very very good move we'll go ahead and purchase that really quick and there we go dude we purchased one tm26 and that is going to be good for our Gyarados let's go ahead and teach him that we're actually going to get rid of a uh, crunch for this which um isn't going to help us out in this region too much, and we can always reteach it because I think they, they added a new feature called the Move Bank, which is pretty cool, which has all the moves that you've ever learned. Um, but let's go ahead and teach Earthquake to Gyarados really quick, and we're going to get rid of Crunch here. Nice, nice. So now we have Crunch, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, or whatever. Does Earthquake, okay, Earthquake actually stays in the Move Bank thing, so we can actually reteach it earthquake if we need to or reteach it um, crunch if we need to which is perfect that way you don't got to keep going back to the move free learner all the time because that blows dude um and we're gonna be going up against a few people before we can actually take on the gym leader looks like you can't actually skip the people maybe you can no you can't skip them we have at least two or three people we got to actually go against before we can take it on so it's good to see what's going to happen here now um a lot of these pokemon are going to have the ability sturdy you're not sturdy but um static Okay, we didn't even one-shot that Pokemon. We're going to die. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, so basically the ability static is um, means you get paralyzed. And when you get paralyzed, you die. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what else to say now. So if you get paralyzed, you die, you lose the thing. So we'll just um, get through these trainers really quick, and we'll just kind of like get an idea of like how things are going to go. We're probably going to lose to this guy if we do. That's okay because we went to the gym earlier another gym but the, the Pokemon Center so we will get teleported back to the Pokemon Center so it isn't the biggest loss in the world 
And yeah, we're actually doing a little bit more damage to this uh, Manitoba zone than I thought we would. I thought it would one-shot us, but it's not. All right, goodbye, Gardevoir. All right, we defeated that guy, actually, so now we can um, try to take on the next person. So we just didn't one-shot that Pokemon. And we're probably going to be slower than a lot of people here, too. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Dragon Dance really quick. Probably going to die, aren't we? Probably going to die here to Magneton. Okay, Zap Cannon, yeah, I figured we would. All right, so we got to figure out a way. Um, I don't know what his lead Pokemon is. I think his lead Pokemon is Raichu, so yeah. So we just got to not take on the Raichu. All right, looks like we can skip the person up here, and we can take on Gym Leader Watson now. Um, I think it leads with Raichu, so we got to be careful here. Now, we, I don't know what to do, really. It's just kind of like, what do you do? You can't really paralyze these Pokemon, so it's we got to be careful. All right, so Stealth Rock for sure. Dude, Stealth Rock. Um, yeah, so he actually went underground for some reason. Um, that's going to give us another chance. We can actually hit him with an Earthquake here. Um, should I hit him with the Earthquake or Explosion? Yeah, I'm actually going to go for the Earthquake here. See if I can knock it out. If I can knock out a Raichu with a level 40 Golem, that'd be sick. All right, I'm going to go for the Earthquake here. Yeah, he's going to use Dig. So Raichu's going to die. Um, we can actually set up on any Pokemon. Even, even probably better after Raichu, because Raichu, I think, for sure has Static on it. Um, so now we're up against Lantern. Um, so this could be the better Pokemon to set up against. All right, um, let's go into Magneton, Magnemite, just to uh, do whatever. Let's see here. We're gonna go for Flash. We can't paralyze Electric Pokemon with Thunder Wave. It's impossible. Okay. So if we can get at least two Flashes off, I'd feel comfortable. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We got two Flashes off. Um, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now we just gotta hope. Okay, it's wasting all of its misses, dude. Well, Hydro Pump has a bad miss rate anyways. Okay, we actually recovered it, so that sucks. Dude, just kill. Just kill me. Just kill my Magnemite. If it misses too many times, I think it switches out, so hopefully it doesn't switch. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, please do not switch. All right. Hopefully it misses. Um, should I send it in? Yeah, I should send it in against Gyarados because we have Earthquake. Yes. Yeah, so. so, please, just give us a chance here. Just give us a chance. Do not kill us, please don't kill us, please don't kill us, please. You supersonic, it missed. All right, perfect. All right, I think we might have this now. We actually didn't kill it. Please miss again, please miss again. <laughs> oh, I missed again, yes, all right, perfect. Okay. Um, dude, I might go for another Dragon Dance here. Because it went for Ice Beam. So it means we might not have Electro Top move. You supersonic, missed. All right, there we go, we have plus two speed. I feel more comfortable now. Um, with the plus two speed boost then with the plus one speed boost because these Pokemon are really fast This is the electric top gym, so we, we know they're gonna be really fast um, Now that Magna zone might have sturdy. That's one thing that I'm worried about um, But we still have all of our Pokemon. Well, not all of our Pokemon. We still have a majority of our Pokemon um, That can take out maybe maybe take out the this Pokemon because it's gonna be a dragon top It's gonna be mega Ampharos all right, Earthquake, knock out Electivire. Okay, Gyarados' Moxie is going overdrive right now. Um, okay, and Magnezone. Okay, no, sorry, I was gonna say, there's no sorry anyways because he has the, we have the rocks out, dude. There we go, I think we beat the gym. We beat the gym on the first try. All right, I was actually super nervous about this gym. I don't think it's faster, but that Mega Ampharos looks beautiful, dude. That is actually a beautiful looking Pokemon. All right, Earthquake, there we go. We just got ourselves the third gym badge in this region. Okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a three, I'll take this badge. All right, I'm gonna go really quick and just use a escape rope. To teleport back to the Pokemon Center really quick. And there we go, boys. Um, Gyarados is getting close to level 63. The next gym is gonna be even easier than this one. The next one is a fire top gym, which Gyarados is literally gonna shred through. Um, but yeah, look at that. We have our third gym badge in the region. That'll be the next gym badge. We will have half of the gym badges in the Hoenn region and one step closer to taking on that Elite Four, which is actually going to be pretty tough. And I don't know how we're going to beat it. We might have to get Gyarados to like a really high level and then even get even more Pokemon to bring over from my other accounts because it's just super impossible to defeat it on your own. All right, but that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy this and you want to see more Pokemon Planet in the future, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you haven't already. As always, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.